Welcome to Pawn Stars. Yay! So I was clearing out the garage and I found these boxes filled with metal trinkets and stuff. There was this one toy that was really old and rusty. I figured I'd just bring it to the pawn shop, you know, see if it's worth anything. So I found this emblem the other day and I was wondering if it was worth anything. Yeah, sure. I think that, in fact, this is an emblem from one of the first Model T Fords. Let me call the expert and I'll get back to you. Alright. Hey, what's up? Hey. I need your help on something. Yeah, no problem. Let's meet at my office. Yeah, I'll meet you at your office. Goodbye. Okay, so the person came in with this envelope and it looks like it's from Mono T Ford. I was wondering if it was real or not. I'll take a look at it. The first production of the Model T Ford was assembled at Piquet Avenue plant in Detroit on October 1st, 1908. More than 15 million Model Ts were built, and the Model T mass production made Ford famous. Henry Ford made his company the biggest in the industry. The Model T Ford originally had four seats, and it was meant to be a family car. It was originally worth $800. From 1914 to 1924, Model T Ford was only available in black. Henry Ford once said, you can have any color you want as long as it's black. The engine had a horsepower of 20 and its top speed was 40 to 45 miles per hour. The company was built by Ford Motor in 1908. It was first generally known as the affordable automobile for middle class America. And in 1919, Ford introduced an electric starter for the Model T Ford, meaning that they no longer have to crank it to start it. Some the impacts that the Model T Ford had on the Industrial Revolution was that automobiles are now available to everyone at an affordable price. It also allowed people to travel one place to another faster, and also provided entertainment for families because it was popular to drive around. So, judging from the look of this emblem, it's definitely not from a Model T Ford. You can tell by the shape and the material. Okay. It does look like the little toys they used to have during the Industrial Revolution. I hope that helped. Okay, thanks. Um, I called the expert in earlier today and she confirmed that this wasn't um, a blow from the Model T Ford, but it's actually a toy from the Industrial Revolution. I'm willing to pay $8 for it. Okay, deal.